this mess is going to do. That Jim was just mentioning, Jordan talking about. We've all been dealing with this system that's going to blow across the Gulf, bring us clouds, bring us showers, and it is going to be quite the mess for us here in Florida. The possibility of thunderstorms, Cedar Key, Tampa, Sarasota, to Fort Myers. These areas actually desperately need the rain, so we will take it. It's been very dry on the west coast of Florida. As we head into our Wednesday evening, that's when the heavy rain really starts to come in. Thursday is going to be heavy as well, making its way all the way up to Savannah and Charleston. Travel could be a little bit slow, and then we just still see that flow that's coming across, giving us the clouds through the day on Thursday. So Tallahassee, we get that rain, and you can see those temperatures. Also, thunderstorms Friday into Saturday. And notice that this is going to be kind of a long lasting event through Friday. We could see up to three to five inches of rain for us and the GFS models. They're still asleep. They'll wake up next hour. Don't worry about that. So if we look at our year to date on rainfall, notice South Florida, West Palm down to Miami. We've seen a lot of heavy rain, but Tampa down to Naples, it's green. So we are a lot lower than we've seen on the east coast of Florida, and it's actually been quite dry. We are anywhere from 13 to 20 inches below average here from Fort Myers all the way down to Sarasota, while we're 9 to 13 inches above average into South Florida. So quite a difference for us here. And if we look at Florida, it's really the haves and the have nots. Sarasota is the number one driest year to date on record, while Fort Lauderdale is the number one wettest date on record. And if we basically could just take 20 inches from there and give it to that, we'd wipe out our drought here and we'd still be above average by 20 inches which is just shocking to see. So Sarasota, Naples, we're the driest. Fort Lauderdale, we are the wettest so far when we're talking year to date. There's your drought on the West Coast and also into the Panhandle. And so, like I said, we will take all the rain that we can get here on the West Coast. And we'll get it. We're not going to wipe out the drought, Jim, by any stretch, but we nope. are certainly going to put a little dent in it. The old chip away at it, right? Well, there will be something for everyone, even if you're not in the path of annularity. It's not totality when you're talking about an annular eclipse. That's when you have a total eclipse. You call it annularity. Residents in the lower 48 in Alaska will see a partial solar eclipse. So here's a look at where you have annularity. That's where you're going to see the most of it. I can't believe also you're going to have annularity for over four minutes. So you'll be able to see that ring of fire for that's a really long time to see it. I was doing some research just on annular eclipses because I love this kind of stuff. And I saw that it can range all the way up to 12 minutes sometimes seeing annularity. Can you imagine if you had like 10 minutes of annularity? That would be wild. So it's going to go through Utah, Bryce Canyon, Four Corners, down into Albuquerque where Jim will be stationed for this. And then of course making its way down into Texas for us. So the forecast does show in Nevada, you know, it's pretty dry there. So we are going to see really, you know, okay weather. 40% chance of some weather and some cloud cover there. So it's still, you know, not ideal. Albuquerque, Jim, I don't know if I like this 65% uh, cloud cover for you there. I'm going to have to look at that forecast in a little more detail. I'm going to have to look at it. All right, so here's a look at all of our crews that we've got covered. Jen's going to start you off in Oregon, and then we have crews all the way down here with Paul Goodlow into Texas. Of course, special weather. Pattern, this is your home for the latest news in climate change and sustainability. I'm Jordan Steele. And I'm Steph Abrams. Let's get to our hot topics. And the first one, paper, plastic, reusable bag. I'm a reusable bag girl. Me too. Mine are know? so reused, they get dirty after. And if I, yeah, I wash them and the, you can wash them in the washing machine. Sometimes I don't even want to use a plastic bag if I forget a bag and I'll carry everything out because I know I have too. a bag in my car. Well, too. a new study says <laughs> your answer to that question has a lot to do with your bank account. Researchers oh. in the... But if you're going to the medium, you're planning a whole week. And so you're like, might as well bring my bags. Because sometimes I forget mine. If I'm like, oh, I need to go to the store for this. Yeah. And I'll swing by and I don't have any bags in the car. Then it's like, well... Oh, I keep my bags in the car. I'm very, once I undo them That's all, good. I don't do that. I then I put them all back in one bag and then put them in my pile for the next day that goes, you know, to work with me. And right. so I can put them back. In and then the do car. you have like an average number of bags you know you're going to use yeah. every week? Yeah, that's about how many I have. And There's do you like feel weird if over. you bring a bag that's like not local to your your grocery store? Like no. I'll bring a, a bag that's got not like four different groceries sometimes. I'm like, yeah. well, I shop everywhere, so yeah. it's all good. No. Well, as meteorologists, we love to look at clouds. All right, Steph, what's your favorite cloud type? Probably cumulonimbus. Cumulon cumulonimbus is a go-to. about you? A big towering yeah. cloud that provides rain. Um, oh, those ones so kind of look really like cool. cotton balls falling out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Well, turns out those clouds 
all of them have a dirty little secret. Researchers into the actual like scientific article, which is very hard to read, but I got a, a, a fact that I wanted to pull out for everybody here because I thought this was interesting. Because plastic is hydrophobic, right? When you, if you have a piece of plastic, you pour ones. So once all of that happens and the, they have the absorption of the particles and the hydrocarbons, all this happens, the surface actually can make, can actually make them ice nucleation, which actually is what causes all the snow and then turns into rain. That's what I thought. I thought it was going to be like some kind of aerosol, you know, you have your hairspray, yeah. like that is what the nuclei can attach to. And yeah. that's what I thought it was so attached like, to these It's plastic. like cloud seeding. People have been trying to cloud seed forever. Who knew all they had to do was throw microplastic in the that's air and they could have done no. cloud seeding. I know. All right. The summer was brutal and one way to beat the relentless heat is with self-cooling building. A Texas construction company is adapting. Oh, where are my glasses? That thing just didn't have to like use your air conditioning as much. Going in and I, I mean, love that they had fine. the construction with a little nook so the wind could like yeah. take the heat away as Yesterday well. Yesterday we That's showed really you cool. the, the round houses. This yeah. one's a little more box structured. Hey, uh, when the temperatures climb, many of us, we do just that, crank up the air conditioning, but it's not a luxury everyone. Some breaking news, September was the seventh warmest September on record in the United States and 30 states have now endured their top 10 warmest years to date. That's all according to NOAA's monthly climate report that was just released this morning. Yeah, summer like temperatures sticking around a lot longer every single year, and that means people are relying on air conditioning more than ever. But many people still don't have air conditioning at all, making for a very dangerous situation. Jenny Schutz is a senior fellow at the, and co-author at Brookings, joining us now to explain this topic. Thank you so much for being with us. And let's get into which cities or regions in the U.S. have the least amount of air-conditioned households out there. Sure. Likely raises awareness for a lot of us. I mean, just what was that? Two summers ago, when the Northwest had that huge heat wave, People and that died. was a huge topic yeah. because of the lack of air conditioning units. What's interesting, though, is that these uh, states that get the really cold temperatures have subsidies so that people can stay warm in the winter, but not in the summer. Yeah, when the heat waves come through. Well, let's uh, get a weather check. Do you protect old growth forests from the flames of a wildfire? Mm, I look at why the pattern wildfire season is becoming a year round problem for parts of the U.S. And that's why the U.S. Forest Service is doing what it can to reduce that threat. Yeah, but they haven't won everyone over with their forest thinning strategy. Mm -hmm. In fact, take a look at this. I know this is a bit of a controversial topic for... It is, because you want the trees, but, I mean, when you think about it, when I think about it, when I look at all those dead trees, they're dead anyway. Yeah. Right? And all they are is going to cause more fuel for if Tinder a spark were to happen. Fire. So the, the problem is now we got to figure out why are they dying? Is it the bark beetle or what's attacking from insects to try to not allow that to happen so that they can flourish and be thriving? I wish we could do something with that, too, instead of just... It seemed like it seemed like they were just cutting it up for like mulch and spitting it back onto the floor. Right. You but know. can we use that? Wood yeah. Can in a we use way? it in a different way? Maybe. Well, someone will, will think tell. of something. Yep. Hopefully. All right. Let's go to Molly with a look at the weather across the country. Yes, Molly, it's still hurricane season. Tropics? Get out of here. It's still hurricane season, and it was clouds. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Well, at least okay. So we're not in annual. I know. <laughs> I know you're right. Jordan's trying to get his kids to see it. He, I see did it. you find the glasses, or That's did it. you? Thank you. Did I show you how to make the pinch hole projector with them? Not yet, but I'm waiting to learn. We okay, have a story coming up yes, soon, sure. right? I did a science with Steph yesterday. We'll see when it comes out. I can't wait. If not, I'll I'll give you the goods Thank anyway, you. of course. All right, here's what's coming up tomorrow on Pattern. When one church was left.